Okay. Um, so I talk a lot about uh, self-inquiry and uh, Course in Miracles. And uh, the question I was asked, do we need to look for a specific message? Um, it, um, quite often in a student's journey, um, there is a need to look uh, for a specific message. Uh, just recording a, a, uh, a video for the newcomers, if I could just ask everyone to stay on mute. Uh, uh, I, okay, so, um, so in everyone's journey, everything depends on where you are in the spiritual journey uh, as to whether you need to look for a specific message. So in, um, so all that life is, is a reflection of uh, one's individual belief systems or karmas as they're reflecting. So that creates experience. So if there was no limiting beliefs or karma or no lessons to transcend, when I say the word transcend, I mean to disappear something so that it no longer exists as a, as a duality, as a separation, as a, a limitation to the experience of being. So, so really experiencing of anything in separation, limitation, time or form that is transitory or changing is a reflection of the, you could say the beliefs held in mind or the karma or lessons yet to be transcended and, and, and released until they exist no more. So do I need to look for a specific message? Well, often in early recovery, uh, early uh, the early spiritual journey, there are huge what I call uh, belief systems or lessons or karmic interactions that come up, which are very very heavy, and require a lot of work. And sometimes these lessons seem to be what seems to be unconscious or blind spots. So something in life keeps going wrong, and it keeps going wrong, and you're not sure what it is you know, uh, and uh, it seems like um, one has to do some specific prayers or pray to the Holy Spirit for it to be revealed. Why does this thing keep happening in life? Uh, or you're not sure what to forgive or who to cancel or what to inquire with. There, there seems to be like a blockage or it seems to be hidden. It doesn't seem to be obvious. Uh, actually, that does qu happen quite often until you get to the later stages of recovery where you're just sort of sitting to disappear everything with 100% focus, uh, in which case you've probably transcended a lot of the hidden stuff and you're now like 100% focused on releasing everything uh, in inquiry or, or through what's called um, one-pointedness of mind, a ferocity to finish off any last experiencing uh, that remains. But in the early se segments, there can be a lot of what, what I call blind spots or unconscious stuff, uh, you know, where you, you, you know, in groups, other people will tell you, well, it, probably what's happening for you is this, or I, I don't know what the belief system is. Well, you sort of pray, pray to, for it to be revealed to the Holy Spirit for a few weeks, and then you suddenly comes out of, out of nowhere. Well, you need to, you need to forgive yourself or this person or, or, or whatever so it's revealed and now you can let it go because you're aware of what was blind you were blind to or what was hidden before so sometimes it is you know at a certain stages of recovery it's like you're just like sitting down or sitting in the park for 20 hours or 10 hours non-stop and every single thought feeling or thought you just go within and transcend it no matter what it is or you're getting to a place where it's like all all visual thought and 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 emotions you're going to a deeper level of transcending it in one go so you're not really you've gone beyond um, um hidden belief systems unconscious belief systems and blind spots so you're just like it's kind of obvious that you just stay in the silence and when there's no silence or there's no inner connection to that which is infinite then you immediately just transcend that or observe it or release it. So like with a lot of my answers, it depends where you are on your spiritual journey. I mean, when someone comes up and I, says to me, I don't know what to cancel, 
I don't know, I can't seem to inquire, I don't know how to inquire. There's often a blind spot or something hidden. Um, and so, you know, but usually the question is being asked, or you can pray to the Holy Spirit for it to be revealed. Um, so sometimes it is necessary for a student to speak to others or to pray to the Holy Spirit because they don't know what they need or how they need to apply the Course in Miracles or self-inquiry. They're sort of like, uh, you could say, I call it a blind spot or unconscious. It's like it's like the ego is tricking them and it won't let them know what they need to work on because they're, they're totally blind to it until it's revealed. So that can happen. Uh, but at certain stages of recovery, we'll say, stop, you know, I might say to somebody, stop looking for blind spots. Just sit there and keep cancelling or keep observing uh, and, and go to a deeper level of observing, which is beyond, you know, this and that. So that can also come at certain stages. Okay, I'm going to stop the video here.